Hello everybody, my name is Risky and I was an alumni of class 2019 at the Deutsche Schule Jakarta and I'm currently sitting here in Aachen, Germany studying uh, you know, studying business administration at the RWTH Aachen University. I don't think it was much of a choice in the beginning because my dad actually was looking for a job and he uh, just so happened to have been told by other people that there's this German school in uh, Base Day and you know, you know, you, you can like maybe, maybe it might be a long shot it might be a long shot. Maybe you can bring your kids over and make them go to school over there, you know, a couple of years. And then you would tell me that, okay, you have the choice to either move to this other school or stay at DSJ. I definitely stay at DSJ. The moment on graduation day, I was really thinking about, man, uh, this is really it, you know, I mean, all those years of just learning and playing with the kids maybe like going uh you know having like some class feuds sometimes <laughs> like at certain occasions i was about to leave all of that behind and move on to a completely different place and start my new life like someplace else that was definitely something not easy to like get over with it was definitely something that i can't you know the thought that that state of mind i carried like even when I was on the plane, pretty much grew up in that school and, and uh, you know, all, for all my life. And, you know, I, it's a real family dynamic, you know, because like, um, yeah, something that I, uh, that I, I love, like that's the, the one thing that I love most about the school. And I think to see that um, the school is able to retain that, you know, that sense of family, that sense of like community and stuff like that. I feel like that's something to be proud of and um, I expect to see more of in the future, definitely. The school has built a solid foundation in terms of like what, you know, for like, <laughs> my music career, I guess, uh, you know, build a pretty solid foundation like for me to kind of like stand on and kind of like grow this, this is gonna sound super far-fetched but you know back in the day when like my first years I was definitely more of the shy type I wasn't super like um, you know I wasn't super confident and stuff like that I I find it hard to uh, to make friends with other friends actually saw this in me uh, you know they, they, they knew that I um, wasn't as you know uh, I don't, <laughs> I'm not as confident in person to my other classmates and stuff like that. So my parents kind of just said, yo, why, um, you know, why not try some of these out on the first Vorspiel album that I was in. Uh, but, you know, getting that round, and after I played, getting, receiving that round of applause was just, it, 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 it did something to me. It, it, it definitely became like that switch where like, yo, I really like this. <laughs> I really like this sensation of, of, of people appreciating what I do and you know, the hard work that I've, um, that I've put into. Oh man, first and foremost, before I say anything, Hayuda, Hebrady, Hayuda, love him, man. Love him to death. All right, both of them equally. Brady, when I had music lessons, when I had music lessons with Brady, it was, it was, it was all fun and games. You know what I mean? Because I had him like in, in elementary school. I had music with him when I was. You know, that's like when you were actually happy to go to music lessons. <laughs> uh, tests on how great you are in musical theory, which spoilers, I really, really suck at. <laughs> because like when it comes to like people I, I idolize a lot of people within the school community um, I definitely go for like the older like definitely like the older alumni from way way back this is like people that I knew when I was like what in the first grade or second um, uh, for example for drums Sunny Harming being one of them. Sunny Harming, uh, Sunny Harming was definitely one of those people that inspired me, uh, like that I idolized in terms of just drumming and stuff. Because, uh, 
you know, because he just had that, he just had that rock star vibe around him. The drummer that I looked up to and my style of playing is heavily, heavily influenced by him. Um, he's the one and only, <laughs> the myth, the legend, the guy with the bowl haircut that's been in our, that's been around for us for so so long mr john navid uh from white shoes and the couples company that dude is just oh my god <laughs> and especially because outside of being a uh, percussion instructor he too is a professional musician and he taught me a lot about what it means to be a musician like in the real world oh man god favorite memory i think it's just small i think it's just a talks with other people um especially when it comes to uh like maybe after school maybe even like during school times um most of it like occur after school because like I think having like those talks with different people regardless of age or you know what class you're from or you know wherever you're, I guess you know whether you're from the Indo Zweig or from the Deutsche Zweig or something like that it doesn't really matter um, I just in the end of the day I'm a guy who who wants to you know communicate with other people I enjoy get you know engaging with people and understanding where they're coming from Um, you can find me on Instagram and I've been doing like a lot of different music things. I've been trying to explore different uh, different nuances as they say. And um, you you know, uh, song I've been I've been really into songwriting right now, so I write on songs and I have a band here as well, I wouldn't go of Musik Netzwerk Aachen, which is a uh, well it's a music network. <laughs> You know, if you're in Aachen and you happen to be one of those DSJ kids <laughs> that that ends up in Aachen as well, <laughs> um, feel free to uh, feel free to contact me if you're interested, and I can definitely put you into the group, and then and then maybe you can you know meet uh, you know your future band. You know what I mean? Um, or and we are working on. A single. <laughs> We're working on a single, which is super, super cool. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give it out yet, just completely. I've showed it to a couple, of, like, you know, a couple of people. Uh, but I think that's as far as I can go in terms of. Do have? I have a SoundCloud as well. I have a SoundCloud account as well. Maybe if you want to, uh, if you're interested. Not, not a lot of people know about this. Uh, and it's pretty, it's relatively young. And we call it. Uh, Frame by Frame Productions, which is basically a two-man filmmaking squad. Uh, to those of you who are probably still in school, maybe you're in the, maybe you're like in middle school, maybe you're doing your hobby tour next year. Just remember that this school will is definitely something else. It is, def um, you know, it's more than just a school. Uh, at least that's the way I see it. And another thing would be, another advice would be to those of you who are maybe uh, passionate about something. If you guys are passionate, in, uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever it may be, whether you're passionate in like writing or maybe you're passionate in sport, like a, diff uh, a certain sports, or maybe like myself, you're passionate about music. Honestly, just, just really put yourself out there. Um, you should definitely do something about that. <laughs> Break free. <laughs>